So we're living in uh, we're living in quite a time these days, right? A lot of uh, a lot of laws being passed around, legalization of drugs and you know weed and mushrooms and all that shit. New York's a little behind the times on that, but uh, I don't know if you guys are aware. We just decriminalized public urination. Go! Not as excited as I was to find that out. I was thrilled to find this out. Uh, because, you know, one of the biggest problems, one of the biggest complaints about New York is not enough public bathrooms. And uh, that's one way to handle that, right? They're like, well, we could build more bathroom facilities, but city is a toilet already, so... <laughs> Take it to the streets. <laughs> One of my buddies was like, you weren't even this happy when gay marriage was legalized. I was like, this is gay marriage for drunk people. I've been doing it for years anyway, but now I don't have to go hands-free while pretending to pop the trunk of a car that's not mine. So. Well, that's how you do it, right? I've been living in New York for 14 years and I feel like it's turned me into a huge peeping Tom. Uh, it's not something I set out to do, but you know, it's a, it's a vertical city, a lot of tall buildings looking down on other tall buildings, a lot of vantage points to see into people's windows, right? Like, you guys look familiar. Uh, I've seen you. Usually it's nothing too exciting. Usually it's just like somebody folding laundry, but even then you're like, oh yeah, this is hot. Fresh out of the dryer, all right. But last week, I'm in my living room, and I look across the street, and through the window, I see two gorgeous naked women making out with each other. And they were on an equally naked man's television screen, but that's neither here nor there. I just, <laughs> just cropped him right out, no problem. I don't know who should have been more ashamed, him for not pulling the curtains closed, or me for pulling up a chair. <laughs> Probably me, because when he finally changed the channel, I just kept sitting there watching Shark Tank. <laughs> New York's getting more expensive all the time, though. Movie ticket now, sixteen fifty, right? Which is insane. Uh, I don't do that. I go to the movies a lot. I cannot afford to do that. I get my tickets online for the senior price. You guys do this? It works every time. One time I got caught, and the usher was like, sir, these are senior tickets. I was like, yes, they are. He's like, well, sir. I was like, flattery will get you everywhere. You are too kind, young man. He was like, I'm gonna need to see some ID. I was like, sure enough, where the hell is my wallet? <laughs> this Alzheimer's is the pits, man, I tell you. This is the flight to Cincinnati, right? He was, <laughs> he was not amused. My favorite person to go to the movies with is my brother-in-law. He's a big movie buff, and uh, he refuses to watch trailers, though, because he hates spoilers. So as soon as the lights dim, he just plugs his ears and buries his head in his lap. <laughs> He'll start humming to himself, tapping his foot. It's quite a spectacle, but I gotta give it to him because like, it's a great way to avoid spoilers, but it's an excellent way to get an entire row to yourself. <laughs> right? People show up late, they're like, hey guys, there's a couple seats over. You know what, let's give this guy his space. <laughs> he is losing his shit. I like to go with him just to watch people try to figure out my role in the situation. <laughs> They're like, well, it's either front row or hope his handler here keeps him in check. And then I just join in with him. They're like, oh God, there's two of them. Front row it is.